Hi, this is Steve Powers. Today I'm going to show you a quick way to make perspective grids in Photoshop. Um, anytime you're doing any kind of uh, shot design or uh, you're uh, using a uh, image as a plate, um, you're going to want to find the uh, horizontal <coughs> horizon line, excuse me, and um, your perspective. Uh, this way when you go to paint in structures or add in a vehicle or person, yeah, the perspective is um, accurate or, or at least close to accurate so you can sell the image. Uh, what we're going to do instead of using the traditional line tool um, uh, and actually draw a line each time, we're going to use paths. Granted we're going to use the line tool but we're going to be creating paths. Um, so we're going to go to paths. <clears throat> I'm going to grab the pen tool. I am going to uh, select the paths option here and then uh, go over to the line tool. Um, I am going to pull in a horizon line. I'm going to pull in our vertical and we're going to do a one point perspective. Now from that vanishing point what we just created with the two intersecting lines I'm going to start pulling out um, lines for our uh, perspective grid. Um, I do have snapping on so it uh, places um, the uh, my selection uh, accurate as long as I am close. Um, pull out a few more of these and I will show you how to manipulate them as well just by adjusting it. And we'll pull out another one. Now uh, one big option with paths is I can pull past the image. This is a, uh, a 1280 by 720, uh, 720p uh, uh, resolution. Um, this um, with a regular line tool would stop at the edge of the image. This way it's um, if I want to um, say I want to uh, select um, yeah, we'll, I'll show you how to do this. You gotta get off the line tool, go back to the pen tool. Um, whoops, control Z. Um, if I want to say uh, pull, whoops, uh, my vanishing point off, I can do that. So I could actually start with there. If I want to say pull it in the opposite direction or just move it up or what have you. Um, we're gonna hit Control Z to go back. Um, that's good be for doing just one or doing all of them, but I can also do just one, so I can adjust these after I've uh, drawn them in. This is uh, the one of the beautiful things about um, using paths as your perspective grid. Now I'm gonna back out here. I'm gonna create a uh, second path. Go back to our first one. Um, Select it, control copy, go up to edit, transform paths, and uh, flip it horizontally. Um, oops, and how about this if I cut it? Oh, darn it. Go back to this. It's not here, is it? Okay, so we're going to back this out a couple steps. Okay, now we're going to do this. One more time, we're going to create another path. Back to working paths. Again, hit copy. Now go back to the new path, paste it, flip it, and pull it in to our vanishing point. Zoom in to get it as accurate as we can. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to stroke um, the paths. Um, so we're going to actually add, uh, basically, you're adding pigment to it. Um, so go over to brushes. Um, let's pick our brush. Make sure um, I've picked a, a hard brush. Drop the pixels down to one pixel and the spacing to zero. And of course, everything, all the other options off. I don't uh, usually use transfer. Um, you know, it just changes your opacity. Um, but in this case, um, I don't want to change the opacity. I just want a nice hard line for, for me to um, be able to see. Because we're going to overlay this grid on um, 
on the image so we uh, know where we're actually painting. Now I'm also going to set the color here uh, to a blue. Uh, this way I can see it. I can also change it. Once I stroke it, I can change it as well later if I want to. So now we have that set up and, and this option is stroke path with brush. Oops, hold on. I went back that out. I want to make sure this is the right side. I want to make sure I'm on the right side, okay, which I am. So I'm going to stroke to path. Um, go to the next one. You can see my paths have been stroked. Put that there. Go back to the paths and stroke that again. Deselect the paths just by uh, tapping off of it. You can see my uh, perspective grid is right there. Now, of course, I didn't cut in any uh, horizontal lines or, or vertical line. I guess I could have done that as well. No need. I can go back and do that if I want to. Those are easy enough to be done. So you can see how um, quickly um, you can do that. And uh, as I said, here, what we can do here is uh, I can combine these, merge them. Okay, so that is actually my grid layer now. And if I do want to change um, the opacity of these, I can just by changing the opacity, just as you would at any other time. If I want to change the color, all I do is change the color. Say I want to go to a red. Okay, we'll go to a red. Um, in Photoshop, I can hit the control button and hit and select that. So I'll just select those lines, and then you hit Shift F5 foreground color, which I just changed, and it's red. And hit Control D, and you deselect it. Now we have a red grid. Okay, so uh, hopefully this is something um, you will use. Um, it is something that you need to know how to do. Um, it's just, it's uh, akin to um, drawing um, a light perspective grid over your uh, drawing just to, uh, uh, in the real world, if you're using pencil or what have you. But in Photoshop, it's a lot easier because these grids um, can disappear with click of the button, on and off. Okay, so um, hopefully uh, you enjoyed it and you learned something, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.